Well, you guys ask and I respond. We did a video a while back about 10 things that I bought from the thrift store. And a lot of you requested more of that type of video and more importantly, how I use lots of those things in the garden. So I've got 10 more for you today. We're gonna walk about the garden and I'm gonna show you how I put some of those really treasured finds to use. So number one are my britches. So, Stuart laughed and said I looked like the Terminator girl or Commando or whatever it was. Uh, what was it called, Stuart? The Tomb Raider? Anyhow, I was looking for some really utilitarian kinds of pants that I could wear out in the garden. I looked at Duluth Trading. I looked at some more high-end kind of places. And then I thought, well, before I invest, I'm just going to go to Goodwill and look. And lo and behold, I found some of these pants at Goodwill. They have all sorts of little slots and pockets where I can put garden tools. I love them. They're great. They're tough and they work just brilliantly for me in the garden. Another thing that I look for, if that is number one, then this is number two, and that is always look for <laughs> something that you don't have to buy new, but that you might need. So this is just a beaten up old plastic stepping stool. Now, whenever possible, I try to avoid buying new plastic things, unless it's something that's uh, really unique. So something like this that is functional that I need to buy, I can get for mere pennies at the thrift store or at the junk store, and it serves the same purpose as if it were brand new. Plus, this one's really dirty, so I can keep it back here in the flower bed, and that kind of hides it. Well, number three, you guys know I am constantly waging war against those pesky squirrels. They get in, they mess up the potted bulbs that I have. If I've just planted a broadcast some lettuce seeds and they've germinated, they'll go in there and dig them all up. And it is just, it causes me no end of frustration. So here are a couple of solutions. Now, this one is a chicken wire cloche. I got this off of Gardener Supply and I can put it over this pot of bulbs that I've got here. So keeping that in mind, when I went to the thrift store, I found this just kind of metal basket. I have no idea what its original purpose was, but I have used it for so many different things. Number one, I can turn it on its side in the potager, I guess upside down rather, in the potager, and that protects the soil and keeps it uh, basically just unpenetratable so that the squirrels can't get through that grid and rough up the soil. So that's one purpose for it. I can also use it, I have been known to set it on two tree stumps like this and use that as a small table. I can keep topiaries in it. I can carry things from one place to another. I found find it really invaluable and I love the fact that it's got this kind of rusty vibe. So that would be my number three thrift store find and how I use it in the garden. Well, you guys know I'm topiary obsessed, so it's pretty obvious that whenever I go to the thrift store, I'm looking for anything topiary related or that I can create a topiary out of. So for instant topiary, there is no better find than something like this. This was just an old wreath form. Whatever was growing on it obviously died. The person took that dead foliage off and then recycled this at the thrift store. And then what I did was I just took some old um, vines and things that were growing in the garden. Actually, they weren't old when I clipped them, but they were still malleable. I wrapped them around the form to give it kind of a rustic vibe. And then all I have to do is just plant something and I have an instant topiary. So look for topiary forms when you're at the thrift store. Well, nasturtiums, anyone? Anytime I go to the thrift store, this would be my, is this number six, Stuart? I think it's number six. I'm always looking for things that I can put tiny pots in because I love the look of these tiny little terracotta pots. So when I saw this wrought iron, I guess it's a muffin pan or maybe a pan that you make madeleines out of, uh, whatever it is, it's a piece of cookware and it perfectly perfectly holds these tiny little terracotta pots. So I thought it would be really fun to use it as kind of a tray 
and I'm putting all of my tiny terracotta pots in here. And then what I did was I just hydrated some peat pellets and I dropped these moist, moistened peat peat pellets. Boy, I'm having trouble working my mouth today and it's not even cold out, Stuart. I put one of these peat pellets into these tiny pots and then I've been soaking some nasturtium seeds. So then I just put a nasturtium seed in each one of these peat pots. And by the way, if you don't have a peat pot, then you can make one yourself out of a toilet paper roll and some seed starting mix. Now you may ask, why am I not planting them directly into the tiny little terracotta pots? And that's because they really, nasturtiums really don't like to be disrupted and moved from one place to another. And I can't plant the pot, but I can just turn it upside down, take the little self-contained peat pot and drop it into the ground. Plus I think it will be fun to see all of these little nasturtiums starting to go to seed and germinate in my little muffin pan. Well in my last thrifting video I talked about my affection for pillar candle holders, whether they're at the dollar store or you can find them at a thrift store. Well, here's another use for them. I, at my uh, Goodwill store recently, I found one of these bent hanging baskets, the kind that you put a coir liner in. Normally there's a chain on it. Well, this one was obviously past its prime, but what you can do is find one of those pillar candle holders, preferably one with a stake, and then you basically just put that hole through the stake and voila, you have a chalice planter, basically taking trash and making treasure out of it. It's easy, it's cheap, it's inexpensive. And again, I just really like the aged patina of it. So that would be number seven. Now for number eight, I'm really excited to show you this one. I saw this really old, oh, it's got kind of a Mexican curio store vibe to it. It's wooden, it's probably, oh, I don't know what it is, maybe oak or something. And it even still had the sticker on the bottom and I was right, it's got uh, Kerr's Curios from Mexico. It was originally $8.98, but I got it for mere pennies, I think maybe $1.91 at the Goodwill store. But Stuart, if you can show them, you can see it's got these sweet little daisy motifs on them. So what I'm going to do, it would be fine in this, in, in this condition, I guess. It's very dusty, so I'd wanna give it a good cleaning first. But what I'm gonna do is transform it via some spray paint that simulates stone. So I think it will look a lot more expensive. It might look a little bit maybe French country or Italian country and I think that'll be really fun. I've got two different colors so once I get that done I will show you what it looks like and where I'll be using it in the garden. So that would be my number eight. Find a beautiful fancy candelabra to use out in your garden. Now, I just want you guys to know that I, I really suffer to serve you because Stuart has been mercilessly making fun of me today. He was just a minute ago going, oh, Linda, you're so creative. <laughs> I, you know, what can I say? He makes fun of me just like my sons do. So this is number nine. I love this tip. And by the way, you guys, you can find these things at thrift stores, secondhand stores, garage sales, estate sales. But also I encourage you to shop your garage or shop your basement or shop your attic. Places where you think that you've got stuff that is really just trashy and has no other purpose. And I challenge you to come up with some kind kind of creative um, metamorphosis of something that you can transform one thing into something else. Okay, so these I got at Goodwill last year and they're just probably pillar candle holders. They come with this little hook. I have used these so many places, you guys. Right now I've got it hanging on this lattice work and I can illuminate kind of a dark place back behind on the fence, but I've also hung them at the entrance to the potager. There's different things you can do with them. I like using these 
Oh, um, what's the company of this? Stuart, what's the company of this? I can't remember, but I will make sure that I put a link below. I'm having all sorts of brain lapses today, but they're one of these solar powered lanterns. And I can put them on here and it illuminates this dark space, but I can also use battery operated candles back here. I can use real candles. I could put small pots on here with some blooming flowers. I can use these in a myriad uh, of ways. Sometimes I'll find that my husband has put a little bit of bird seed in here because he likes to see the birds light on this and he can watch them. So something like this, which seems kind of meh, has a myriad of uses. And I'm so proud of myself because I finally remembered these are made by Sonnengloss. <laughs> Stuart is laughing at me again, and I'll put a link below. And finally, number 10. You guys know how I love gravel, and what I also love is finding some kind of scoop for the gravel that I can find at the thrift store. This one is actually really good looking. It was, uh, I think, a piece of maybe copper cookware or something from a long time ago. It's got heft to it, but because it's so sturdy and there is great reliability where the handle meets um, the bowl, it is perfect for scooping gravel. But wait, subscribe now and you get a bonus tip something that you can find at the thrift store. This is actually a gift thrift or a thrift gift from my friend Roger that you guys have seen before. He got this at an estate sale and it's just wonderful. It makes a perfect garden truck for, uh, for anything. I could plant in it. I could put garden tools in it. I can use it to transport little uh, six packs from one place to another. I just love the way it looks. I've even used it on a tablescape with um, overflowing with all sorts of baguettes and different kinds of breads when I was entertaining. So there is your uh, bonus thrift tip number 11, some kind of wired garden truck.